Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video and this one's about chat fox. Actually something that somebody recommended on other videos I've done. I'll get into that later. But it's basically as you can see there a completely free, it's very important, aviation chat application for educational flight simulation. So flight simulation like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's just type in the Heathrow ICAO there. E-G-L-L. -L. Is it any good? Well, the results of this may surprise you. In this video, I'm going to show you, give you a quick tour of what uh, Chartbox is about and what you get with it. And also, I'm going to show you how, you how you can combine it with other free applications and programs to have something that's very competitive to Navigraph. Okay, so let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. So let's begin at the very beginning. If you just type in chartfox.org, surely I don't need to put that in the description. Just type that in. You get to this page. You need to have a Vatsim account. Now, I'm not going to go over again how to create a Vatsim account. I did a video a while ago on that, and it's quite thorough. So I'll link it in the top right for you. Go and look at that if you need to. But create a Vatsim account. It's interesting that Vatsim does recommend chartfox as well. So keep that in mind. When you have one, you can log in. It will say put your user ID and password in. Once you've logged in, you won't get that reminder again. So I'm just straight into the application. So I could type in here at airport ICAO code. So a Heathrow will do, E-G-L-L. -L. Why not? And you often get this donate. Now, you don't need to donate. But if you're going to be using Chartfox, I do urge you to. They have done this free of charge. And once you click that button there, donate, it will take you to this page. At least donate a couple of pounds or five pounds or something. I will be for sure because I can see myself using this. Now we're in Heathrow. We've got all these charts. So you've got things like the surveillance charts here. Let them load up, shall we? I just have to zoom out a bit because I did zoom in before. You can rotate these screens if you need to and then zoom back in again. There we go. Helicopter crossing if that's of interest to you. Taxi charts. So the aerodrome charts. Now these charts are pretty much identical from memory to what you'll find with Navigraph without the cost. Now, I'll link the video I did of Navigraph as well. That's a subscription application. Application. It has a bit more spit and polish overall. But the charts themselves, from what I've seen so far, are pretty much identical. I don't know if this has all the charts that Navigraph, uh, that, uh, Navigraph has. But certainly it seems it has the amount of charts that you need for each specific airports at least the ones i've tried so far so there you go it's a different aerodrome chart with clearer sorts of uh, taxiway readings there so if you want to learn how to taxi from uh, if you're at a specific stand you want to learn the taxiways ch uh, charlie delta echo foxtrot alpha bravo that type of thing and the holding points you know, I won't go into this in too much detail, but Pluto, Titan, listen to to Vatsim. You want to find out where those different uh, runways are, taxiways are. It's a great resource for learning that type of thing. Aircraft ground movement. The stands, if you want, if you want to see where the specific stands are at de various different airports, they're all listed there as well. Sits and starts, so departure charts. As you can see there, but it has various different ones. It seems to have, like I say, the amount of charts that you'll need at any of the specific airports. Now, I've not tried every single airport and like i said i'm not sure if navigraph is more thorough than this 
But what you do get here does seem to be enough. So there we go. You got your uh, approach charts as well, your arrival charts. And even, oh, well, the approach charts are here, of course. You've got the arrival charts, the stars, and the approach charts. So if you don't want to know the uh, height for the glide path in this case, there you go. It tells you there. All very useful and all in one place. Doesn't have all the spit and polish that Navigraph has. Navigraph has a moving chart where you can put your things like your sits and starts onto the chart itself all in one place. But... You can combine this with another free application, which is Little Nav Map. I'll link the video I did of Little Nav Map in the top right. It's a moving map, basically. I'm actually parked up at Gatwick Airport. I do have the sim up and running. It's paused. And I'm going to show you a bit of that later. I'm actually connected to the VAT sim service as well. Well, there you go. Combine it with something like Navigraph. You can see where you are on the airport. And it shows you the people active on that sim as well, which is quite interesting. I'm going to get into that later. So with though, and you can do many things with a uh, little nav map, things that I still haven't discovered yet. So you can put things like uh, approaches on it, I believe, and citizen stars or flight planning and that type of thing. So there you go. Little nav map combined with chart box essentially gives you what Navigraph does. But you're not paying for that monthly subscription. I'll come back to that later in the conclusion. But what I want to do now, I want to jump back, jump back into Flight Simulator. Back into VatSim. And just show you how good Chartbox can be combined with Little NavMap. So let's now show you Chartbox. Just bring up that page again. I've just typed in EGKK uh, Gatwick because that's why I'm spawned in at the moment. So I've got all the charts for that. Combined with Little Nav Map and combined with that sim, which I've got open there. I believe I'm actually tuned into one of these. I'm tuned into the uh, clearance delivery there at Gatwick. So let's just listen to a bit of chatter there. Seems quite busy at the moment. Easy to forfeit Charlie with my correct to put right. Seems to be a little bit of feedback there. Now I'm not sure if this controller is controlling a couple of different airports here. Is this going uh cost only? Very quiet, the chap on the other Apex six two echo echo clear to destination in for one Zulu departure squawk three four one two. There we go. So it's just giving him, giving him instructions. And as you can see, let's just get back in the cockpit again. Just turn that off because it may disturb us. On little nav map, I've mentioned this before, but I, something I didn't realise until I started testing for this video. All these different aircraft you can see on little nav map. This is more about chart box, chart box, but still combined. All these little aircraft are the live aircraft on the VATSIM service. So if you see any of these moving, you can see one there just behind me. So if I look at my aircraft again. Should be an aircraft just behind me. That's him that you saw on Little Nav Map. And there's various various other ones dotted around the map there. These are all live players, so that's quite good. So what I tend to do, I tend to open up the aerodrome chart code here in Chart Fox. Listen to the chatter going on over the radios. Hopefully there's going to be a bit more now. No. Hmm? It's very sudden, wasn't it? Listen to the chatter going on. See where he's telling people to taxi to. That's very quiet. That's, that's not on my own. Easy that's to for for trolley, it's clock 7616. There you go. It's giving him instructions. Listen to them and take a note of the different like you could do basically with navigraph is the point i was going to make there i'll tell you what let's do the conclusion in one hit here when you combine chart box and little nav map with something like that sim even if you're not using that sim you just want to use chart box for general aviation or 
taxiways or approach charts or sits or starts or whatever. It's very comparable. For me, it's just as good as using Navigraph. Now, I don't believe in aircraft like the 146 Professional that you can load. It has a little tablet in the sim itself, so in the cockpit. I don't think you can load the chart for charts in on that you have to have Navigraph for that so if you're using Navigraph for that purpose I don't believe Chatbox does that yet and if, if it does someone can correct me there so Navigraph has one or two of uh, pos more positive things going for it has a slightly cleaner or posher interface Navigraph as well but I find this interface very straightforward and very clear in these times where we have to pinch our pockets a little bit, pinch the pennies, as they say, so we have to look after our pennies, and I certainly am having to at the moment. I don't have an active Navigraph subscription. For that reason, I'm just having to look after my money a bit. This is the perfect solution. Still urge people to go and donate a little bit, but it's just a one-off donation. And you've got a completely free resource that Definitely rivals Navigraph, especially if you combine it with the moving map of the free resource that's little nav map as well. I think it's absolutely fantastic, but let me know your thoughts below. I know there's a lot of advocates for Navigraph. I know there's a lot of advocates for Chartbox. Share your thoughts down below in the comments. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this. Subscribe for more, many more flight simulator videos on their way, and I'll see you soon.